He says, now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb, and behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled the stone from the floor, uh, from the door. An angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. And the guard shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen as he said, Come see the place where the Lord lay. I was reading that. I'm going to read the rest of it in just a moment. I was reading that, and the Spirit of the Lord said, Son, pay attention. I said, Sir, what do you mean? He said, Two things here. He said, Remember when I told you that in the last days there would be earthquakes in diverse places? I said, Yes, sir. He said, Not all earthquakes are acts of destruction. Some earthquakes are acts of intervention. I'm about to say something to you I need you to be prepared for. When these angels invaded earth's atmosphere, the earth quaked. What were they doing? Watch. Watch. And they came and rolled back the stone from the door. The angel answered and said, you seek Jesus, come see the place where the Lord lay. And go and quickly tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and indeed he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying rejoice. And when I read that, the spirit of God said, stop. He said, do you understand what you just read? I said, I, I think so. He said, notice, are y'all looking? He said, notice, the angels didn't come and move the stone to let Jesus out of the tomb. He was already out. No, 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 yo, 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 th this, I, no, y'all, y'all aren't paying attention. Y'all are not paying attention to the scripture. Now, I know I just kicked over a sacred cow, but if you read the book, you can't be confused about it. He meets them, y'all aren't hearing me, he meets them as they're going. So this idea that angels came down, rolled the tomb away and let Jesus out. A man who can walk through walls doesn't need anybody to open a tomb for him to get out. Is it in the book or no? I'd never seen it either. I, I, had, I had taken the story just like it had been preached to me, taught to me like the movies I saw, you know, where that woman, he comes out. No, no, he was already out. And I said, God, then, then what are you saying here? He said, the angels didn't come to let Jesus out. They came to remove the obstruction to people seeing he was resurrected. No, you're not listening. You're not listening. They can't. You're not listening. They came to remove any obstruction that would keep people from seeing that he was actually resurrected and he was alive. He said, tell the church. He said, tell the people of God. Now hear me. There are about to be some earthquakes in the earth. 
and they are a signal that revelation knowledge is being poured out and he said tell the church now when they see him you're going to see a couple of significant earthquakes in the next few months he said the earthquakes will be a signal that my spirit is removing every obstacle to keep people from seeing the resurrected Jesus as he is. He said, tell them, I'm, I'm prophesying, tell them that the earth you're going to hear of a couple of significant shakings of the earth. He said, and tell my people they will be a witness that I am removing obstacles. Y'all aren't hearing me. If I had time, I would tell you there are actual supernatural agents. There's angelic help coming into earth's atmosphere to help get the gospel preached everywhere. We're following a developing story of a strong earthquake in Taiwan and a tsunami warning. The USGS reports a 7.4 magnitude quake hit just off the coast of Taiwan a little more than an hour ago. That was followed by a 6.5 magnitude aftershock about 12 minutes later with others that followed. We have this new video just to end our newsroom showing collapsed buildings on Taiwan's east coast. There's no word yet on whether anyone has been hurt or is trapped. A tsunami warning has also been called for southern Japan. There's currently no tsunami warning for California or the rest of the Pacific. Good morning. This is an NBC News special report. We're coming out with breaking news about an earthquake that has just jolted the northeast. It happened just after 1020 this morning. There was some slight shaking here in midtown Manhattan. Skyscrapers, including the one I'm in, uh, people here felt it, feeling it across northern New Jersey and Pennsylvania. There are reports that the epicenter was in Lebanon, New Jersey, strong as a 4.7 magnitude in some parts.